It's 40 degrees and it's a great day to pick up a snake. Yeah. You're watching Midwest Lizard Mom. I'm bringing home my baby hog, no snake. Okay, you guys, today is the day that I get my hog, no snake. So I'm going to go ahead and film opening. Um, from here on out, you're going to just see the box and what I'm doing with that um, for the whole unboxing. All right. This is my first ever snake, so I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know how to handle snakes. I was hoping I could handle them more, but I didn't have any friends in the area that own snakes that are close to me. Um, some of my friends do that but farther away, but it's harder for me to get to them now. So he is in his dish. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Hello. Oh, hi. I see your cute little face. Yes, I do. I'm just going to take this rest of this stuff out. I don't want to move him a lot because I don't want to make him stressed. So I'm just going to do that. I hope you can see at least... Of him. Unfortunately, my scale, um, it ran out of batteries. I don't know how because I haven't used it in ages because my other reptiles are all fully grown. Um, so somehow, I, yeah, I didn't know. I just checked it and then I was like, oh, I didn't think it would be out of batteries, but it was. So I can't weigh him, unfortunately. I really wanted to. So I have to get some batteries for that. Um, and then we'll do that. Oh my gosh, this guy is so adorable. He's so little. I'm just going to take that little container out last. So this is a seedling mat that you put underneath it and it'll keep it warm. Put it on one side. Um, she has a really great video about this, like about her kit and how you do this and, and why and just all the stuff behind it. So um, I'm really, really excited to have this kit. So thank you so much, Jordan. I, I don't know if you mean these more for um, expos, but I'm really, really excited that you do this because then I know at least that I have everything that he's going to need. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we go. I'm putting him in a container within a container. And the reason why is um, the thing that sticks with me is Snake Discovery once said, if you have a snake, it will eventually escape. And that's a good thing to just be aware but I don't want that to happen. I don't want to lose the snake. They're very small, so I want them to be okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and put them in this, but then I'm also going to have them in this bigger enclosure that locks. So, um, and I'll have the seedling mat and all that under there, but he definitely wants to get settled in and get hidden. All right, hey buddy. Hello. Just need to get... just kind of looks like he's going to be fast. Hey buddy. Hi. If I touch you, are you going to be okay with that? Hi. Oh, your eyes look maybe like they're a little bit blue. Hi. Hi you. Like I said, I'm used to picking up um, lizards. This is my first ever snake, so I have not picked up a snake before. I mean, I've been handed a snake, but I've never, like, picked up a snake. Oh, there we go. There you go. Want to go in there? Yeah, I think she, I think he's going to shed because he looks kind of like, like a dull color on the bottom. So I think, whoopsie, there you go. I did startle him a little bit. So I have his enclosure set up. Um, this is a heat mat. It's just a seedling heat mat that comes with a set um, and that'll give him a little bit of extra heat so he has a warm side. It's not super hot, it's just a little bit of heat. Um, and then he has the hide that comes with it on that side, the aspen that came with it, there's a flower, um, a leaf, and then another thing that seems like it'd be good for helping him shed um, he has water in there. He's kind of moved his water bottle around and he's like really, really, really interested in 
this enclosure. I don't know if this is the same size that they are in when they're babies, or if this is bigger, or the exact one. Who knows? But um, he's definitely active, so I think that's probably a good sign. But he's probably stressed because he's been through a lot. So I, um, I'm just going to leave him alone and admire him, if that's okay. I hope so. Um, I sent Jordan a message, so um, I'm sure she's super busy. Um, but just said, hey, hope this is all good signs. And, and yeah. He also was going to eat on Tuesday, but he was in shipping. So he's probably hungry. So hungry and stressed is probably not the best thing for this poor little dude. I ordered Reptin Links, but I will also give him frozen thawed pinky mice. Um, I just wanted to have something available. And those are also something I can grab right away from a nearby store. But he's just being super cute, exploring around. Hi. Uh-oh. Was I spotted? Was I spotted? Hi. Hello. He's like, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. I'm going to go hide now. So I haven't seen him drink, but he has water in there, so he can do that. So. Alrighty. So cute. I love his pattern, and he's doing ton flicks, so that's a good idea. Or that's a good sign, I think. Um. He kind of looks like he's wondering, can I get out of here? <laughs> Super cute. He has gone into the hide. He went in and went right back out and then kind of was like, hmm? Flick, flick, flick. Tongue flick. Hi. I don't know if their tongue flicks will help him to get to know me. Or at least know I'm not a threat. But he does look like he's shedding. Like, he looks... His eyes look a little bit blue, so I think he's probably shedding and having a really hard time, well, or starting to have a hard time seeing. Anyway, I could just watch him for a really long time. So cute. What a cutie. And the great thing is that when he's a full adult, I could probably use the enclosure that this is in for him if I wanted to. I might not just because I'm not a big fan of the doors. Um, and this is the one that I accidentally forgot to latch when a bearded dragon I was babysitting got out and I was like, oh no. So probably won't end up going with this one. Probably will go with something else. And something not so high because this is pretty high too. So yeah, I think he's hiding now. Oh, nope. He's over on the water side. So cute. Oh, he just turned around. He's like, I'm going over here. I'm going. I'm going. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. And thank you to Snakeful Grace.